and welcome back to Jazzy61. So today's video we're going to go ahead and finish up with all the Christmas stuff. I have not finished it as I wasn't feeling very well. So I'm going to try to tackle my bedroom today as well as my little office space. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot. Just going to add little pops of Christmas here and there. I do have to straighten up. Now we did flip the room around last night but I didn't show that part because it was late. I was ready to go to bed. I ain't going to Hang on, some of y'all ready to go to sleep. So, when the corner here first, you say hello. If you are new here, my name is Jazz. I do everything motherhood, lifestyle, and a little bit of beauty every now and again when I can pull it off because sometimes I can't. But I be trying. Um, I am a mama of one little man and I am married. I have a small dog. These are the things that happen in my life. I feel like the law and order music should have came out there. Just jam, jam. I don't know. Anywho, I want to welcome you uh, to Jazzy 61 and hope that you subscribe today after watching this video. I hope you enjoy this video. And to my returners and new subscribers, hi guys, welcome back. Thank you to all of you who have been reaching out, who have been checking in on me, making sure I'm okay. I really appreciate you guys, all of your well wishes, all of your prayers. Thank you guys so much. You are the absolute greatest. So I'm going to flip this camera around so you guys can see what my room looks like right now. It's not really dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and wipe some stuff down, reorganize, get it cracking. Go get it together today because it's been looking a little rough in here. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so here is my room right now. The sheets are not on the bed because we just washed them. So I'm gonna vacuum up the rug a little bit, make his bed, make our bed, and I'm gonna start adding the pops of red throughout and probably clean off my husband's nightstand some because it is full of stuff, like way too full of stuff. All right, got my Nat King Cole, because if you ain't got Nat King Cole around Christmas time, it's got to be Nat, okay? Nat is what that is. Nat, I don't know, I just want to like Nat King Cole for Christmas time. So let's go ahead and get it going. So getting started, I'm going to go ahead and clean up or straighten up a little bit because the room is kind of empty already as I took the sheets off and moved everything around. And I'm going to go ahead and just put my son's bed together first. I'm going to get the sheets on our bed. I do need to do a little bit of vacuuming in here as well and dusting because as I said, you guys, I've been trying to just recover here lately. I'll let you guys know about all of that later. And so I've been just doing a lot of resting. And so a lot of the basic things that I do on a daily basis have kind of falling by the wayside and I know I need to go ahead and take care of it so I'm gonna go ahead and dust and vacuum and sweep and just get everything kind of cleaned back up before I actually start adding in all of my different types of decorations in here which is not gonna be a whole lot because my husband complained last year that the room was too bright when we were trying to sleep so I'm gonna go ahead and put some carpet fresh down I'm gonna go ahead and make the bed after that I do Febreze first, baby powder. I don't know, it's just kind of a thing in our family. My grandma used to do it, so we still do it. Baby powder, then I'm gonna go ahead and put the sheets and everything on here, vacuum up that carpet fresh, and then get going with my Christmas decor. Let me know some of the things that you guys do when you're cleaning that you picked up from your grandparents or your parents. Not necessarily something that you have to do or that's 100% necessary, but at this point, it's just a habit. How lucky can Excuse my comforter and my sheets, you guys. They are a bit wrinkled as I left them in the hamper for the last day or so. So now on to the dresser. As you guys can see, there is a lot of dust over here. So I have to get some dusting done, but I'm on it. I'm on it today. I'm listening to Boys to Men and Brian McKnight's Let It Snow, you guys. This is just a holiday. Have to at this point. Have to. Let me know in the comment section below. Some of your holiday music have to. You just have to listen to it. Or Christmas just doesn't feel right. Listening to this song. Now 
on to vacuuming you guys i'm sure my rug was rejoicing after this because i hadn't vacuumed it in a few weeks now and it's just like come on jess get it together so i'm going to go ahead and vacuum up that carpet fresh you guys that scent lingers that's glade carpet fresh in the scent clean linen you guys and it will linger in the air for days and i absolutely love that about it so i'm getting that vacuumed up first the one thing i don't like is that sometimes when you're vacuuming it on rugs it like pops off the rug onto the floor so i'm going to go back behind that and sweep up the floor because i needed to sweep anyway and get that extra carpet fresh up as well as get up some of this dust because the dust accumulates on the floor too which is kind of interesting like on the front or under the furniture some dust kind of sits I don't, I don't know how it does it but it does onto the tree so i got a new tree this year for our bedroom this is a seven foot pre-lit brinkley pine it was 59 dollars at walmart you guys i wanted something smaller kind of a slimmer tree in the corner over here and as i said before my husband complained <laughs> that that flock tree was way too bright last year so i'm going to go ahead and get this one put together it lets off this like really pretty glow so he didn't have any issues with it the first night so I'm glad I got this little tree, you guys. If you're looking for a skinny tree, go to Walmart, check them out, you guys. I know Michaels has them too, but I don't know if they're going to have a, a good one like this for this good price. So let me know if you're going to go find one of these trees in the comment section down below or if you're interested in a tree like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and sweep up these faux pine needles. I am now listening to the Michael Buble Christmas album, you guys. I love, love, love his Christmas music. He has an old school crooner voice. It's beautiful. Love it. Love it. So this is a tree all lit up. It has the prettiest, coziest little glow. I love it. I love it. I love it so far. Seven feet tall. Great little tree. Now I'm going to start decorating. I was going to do both the red and the burlap, but I decided just to do the burlap this year as I wanted the room to be a little bit more cozy. The brighter colors sometimes reflect the light and it gets brighter. So I went ahead and did all of the warmer colors. So you're going to see the burlap and you can see the buffalo check come in here pretty soon, which is the stuff I put on our, our big tree last year. So it turned out really great, you guys, though. I love how the tree came together. I didn't put a whole lot on there and it still looks really full. And I guess that's the beauty of a slim tree. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below if you decorate your master bedroom. And if you do, do you use brighter colors? What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling so mostly everything on this tree came from Big Lots, you guys. Yes, Big Lots. I love Big Lots around the holiday season. They have such great stuff. And everything was like $6 or less. So I really, really love shopping there when I can get over there because I don't get there as often as I would like to, including this ribbon that Garland came from there. I'll try to link as much of it as I can below. If I can, I'll try to put the prices down below for you guys. But like I said, everything was under $6. These bowls, I think, were $6.00. I think all of the ornaments themselves were like $6. And I picked all this up last year, as I said before, because it was on our main Christmas tree. And now it's just working out great on this little pencil Christmas tree in our bedroom. I can see the snowflake 
snowflakes fall I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true that's why i cheer i've been busy decking the halls i've been kind to big and small and now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for christmas let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it Right, onto the tree skirt you guys it came from hobby lobby last year i'm going to add some plastic bags underneath it to kind of fluff it up some so it's not so flat because it's much bigger than this tree because this is a pencil tree it's really small and then onto the bed so i bought this blanket from ross you guys it was 21 dollars. it is a king size throw you guys it is so cozy I love a good cozy blanket in the winter time, you guys. And it fit beautifully. I didn't want to cover the whole bed, just add that pop of red to it. I'm also going to add these two big red pillows that I got from Ross as well. The set was like 20 bucks. They're kind of velvety. Really, really like them. And then the Merry Christmas pillow came from the Target dollar spot. Sitting by the fire. Guys, so everything is almost done in here because like I said, I'm not going to do too much. But you see the canvases are, must, are missing from the wall. So basically, I did a little DIY project here. So what you're gonna do is, if you wanna do this or you want the same sort of look, is wrap your pictures or um, oh, if you got some canvases like I have, wrap them into wrapping paper and leave the area at the top out where the hook goes into the wall or whatever. And I just wrapped it in some wrapping paper that I had left over from last year and added some bows and I'm gonna go ahead and put them back on the wall. And so you guys i struggled a little bit getting these back up on the wall but i do think they turned out quite nicely and i love that it just looks like a present hanging on the wall my son thinks they're real presents and he tried to unwrap them when they were sitting on the bed this took me no time to do and i used leftover materials from last year so it cost me nothing So here is the final result of our cozy Christmas makeover, you guys, in our master bedroom. I absolutely love how it turned out, and my husband had no issues sleeping with the tree on this year, you guys. It is so warm and cozy in our bedroom. Those candles smell absolutely amazing. The throw is just so fluffy and comfortable, you guys. We sat in here, we had some hot chocolate. We watched a movie and ate popcorn as a family, you guys, and it was such a good time. So I hope you all enjoy these after clips. A gift to be given How lucky can this so heart be And I fall into peace and silence On a very special Christmas Eve
have come to the end of the video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not already. I want to say thank you to my returners and my new subscribers. You guys are the absolute greatest and such a blessing to me. I really appreciate you all. And I hope to see everybody in my next video. Bye, guys. Listening to this song, play.